Storytelling with Data A Data Visualization Guide for Business Professionals by Cole Nussbaumer Naflik is a must-read for anyone looking to master the art of data communication. With 10 concise chapters, the book offers practical guidance on turning data into compelling stories that drive action. Naflix's intent is clear, to empower readers to present data effectively by choosing the right visuals, eliminating clutter, and focusing the audience's attention. Thanks to Book Ginger Review, you can quickly see an overview of the entire chapter. Whether new or experienced, this review gives you the tools to make powerful data stories that connect with your audience. Just hit the like button, ring the bell, and subscribe to our channel. Join us as we guide you through this journey of transformation. Chapter 1 of Storytelling with Data A Data Visualization Guide for Business Professionals by Cole Nussbaumer Naflik is titled The Importance of Context. In this chapter, Naflik highlights that context is essential when showing data. Without it, data is just a collection of numbers and charts that don't tell a meaningful story. The main point is to present your data in a way that connects with your audience and communicates your message. Always consider who will be viewing your data and what they care about, as this helps you tailor your message. Be clear about your goal and provide relevant background information so your audience understands why the data matters and how it relates to them. In summary, this chapter emphasizes the importance of context. By understanding your audience setting a clear goal and giving the necessary background, you can transform raw data into a meaningful story that connects with your audience. Remember, it's not just about presenting data. It's about making the data significant. Chapter 2 of Storytelling with Data titled Choosing an Effective Visual talks about knowing how to pick the right visual for your data. The way you show data can greatly affect how people understand and use it. Choosing the right visual helps you explain your story clearly and effectively. Understand what kind of data you have, categorical, time, based, or quantitative since each type needs different visuals. Choose visuals based on what you want to show, like trends, comparisons, or relationships. Keep your visuals simple and focus on the key parts of your data to avoid confusion. Learn about common visuals like bar charts, line graphs, and scatter plots, and know when to use each one. This chapter shows that using the right visuals makes your data story strong and clear. Always choose visuals that fit your data and message and keep them simple. This way, your audience will understand your point easily. Chapter 3 of Storytelling with Data is titled, Clutter is Your Enemy. In this chapter, Cole stresses the need to remove unnecessary elements from data visuals. Extra details can hide the main message, making it difficult for the audience to grasp the important points. By keeping things simple and clear, our data stories become more engaging and easier to understand. Get rid of unnecessary elements like extra grid lines, labels, and colors. Keep your design clean and simple to help the audience focus. Make important data stand out using color, bolding, or annotations. Use consistent design elements to avoid confusion and look professional. And leave space to reduce clutter and make it easier to read. In conclusion, we learn from Chapter 3 that clutter ruins good data visuals. By removing extra stuff and keeping it simple, we can make clear, powerful visuals that convey our message well. The aim is to make it easy for your audience to understand and use the data. Chapter 4 of this book is titled, Focus Your Audience's Attention. In this chapter, Cole highlights the need to direct your audience's attention to the most important parts of your data visualizations. The goal is to make sure your main message is clear and easy to see. To present data clearly, use visual elements like color, size, and position. Remove any unnecessary details. Use contrast to emphasize key points and add annotations like text boxes, arrows, or highlights to guide the viewer's attention and make the data easy to understand. Chapter 4 encourages us to be intentional in presenting our data. By focusing your audience's attention on the key message, you ensure that your story is clear, compelling, and memorable. Chapter 5 is titled, Think Like a Designer. 
Here, Cole highlights the need to think like a designer when making data visuals. The aim is to make our visuals not only informative, but also interesting and easy to understand. By adopting a designer's mindset, we can turn complex data into clear and engaging stories. To share your message, simplify your design by removing unnecessary parts using white space to separate sections, keeping colors, fonts, and styles the same, organizing elements to lead the viewer's eye, and always focusing on what your audience needs to share information effectively. Thinking like a designer helps us create data visualizations that are clear, attractive, and easy to understand. This way, our audience can quickly grasp the message. Our goal is to let the data tell its story without adding too many details. Chapter 6 is titled Dissecting Model Visuals. In this chapter, we learn how to understand and analyze model visuals. These examples of good data visualizations teach us important lessons about effective communication. By seeing what makes these visuals successful, we can use the same ideas in our data presentations. Visuals should be clear, simple, and directly related to the main message. Apply basic design rules like alignment, contrast, and spacing to make them effective. Chapter 6 shows us how important it is to study and learn from example visuals. By understanding the context, simplifying, directing focus, and using design principles, we can create strong data visuals that clearly and effectively communicate our message. Chapter 7 of Storytelling with Data titled Lessons in Storytelling shows the importance of storytelling in data visualization. Cole explains that data is powerful, but it's the story we create around it that makes it memorable and useful. To present data effectively, customize your story for your audience's needs and interests. Create an engaging narrative with a clear conclusion, use emotional context and relatable examples, and simplify your message by highlighting key points that support your narrative and make it easy to understand. In summary, Chapter 7 shows that good data storytelling involves more than just charts and graphs. It's about knowing your audience, creating a strong story, adding emotional meaning, and keeping your message simple. Chapter 8 combines all the ideas and techniques from earlier chapters to make strong data visualizations and engaging data stories. It is titled, Putting It All Together. The chapter shows you how to use context, visuals, design, and storytelling to present data effectively and inspire action. To present data effectively, start by giving background information and telling a story. Fit the data into this story, pick suitable visuals, design thoughtfully, and keep improving your visuals and story. Highlight the main points, remove unnecessary details, and get feedback to enhance clarity and impact. Chapter 8 of Storytelling with Data ties everything together by teaching you how to use context, visual choices, design, and storytelling to make impactful data presentations. The secret to good data storytelling is to keep practicing and improving. With time, you'll get better at turning complex data into simple, engaging stories that inspire action. Chapter 9 is titled Case Studies. Knowing your audience is essential for creating an engaging data story. Choosing the right visuals, simplifying complicated data, and emphasizing important points are key to making your message strong. Simplifying complex data and highlighting key points helps direct your audience. We learn from this chapter that good data storytelling involves making smart choices based on who our audience is and what message we want to share. By looking at real-world examples, we can get better at visualizing data and telling stories that encourage people to take action. Chapter 10 of Storytelling with Data titled, Final Thoughts, reviews the main ideas from the book and gives lasting tips on improving our data storytelling skills. Cole highlights the value of keeping things simple, always improving, knowing your audience, and telling a strong story. Clear visuals work best, and getting feedback and making adjustments are key. Customizing the message to fit the audience helps the data stories connect. Finally, turning data into a captivating story makes it memorable and convincing. In conclusion, 
Storytelling with data is more than a guide for making charts. It's a manual for communicating effectively with data. Following Cole's advice, you can transform data into compelling stories, making your presentations clear, memorable, and impactful. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, this book offers the tools and knowledge to improve your data visualization skills and enhance your professional communication. That's the end of our journey through storytelling with data. For more interesting updates from our channel, click the subscribe button to follow Book Ginger. Thanks for watching until the end.